please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. My name is Dave Moss. I tune approximately 3,500 bikes per year. This is Two Clicks Out. Now steal the microphone, microphone. Here's a preview. How many miles are on it? 17. Okay, have you serviced the forks or the shock yet? No, I just got it like a month ago. Okay, ago. so it's unknown. Then I put like 2,000 miles on it since I got it. <laughs> So oil age is unknown, okay? I put, oh, fork oil, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Boing, that's interesting. So let's see, 130. And then we'll check, we'll pull it out and extend it. Those lines get pretty tight. You want on the center stand? No, no. Two twenty. So you've been using on average two twenty, hundred and forty mil a stroke. So do you know what bottom out is? <laughs> I bought that on it though. Did you? On dirt. Okay. Yeah. I was kind of curious with how how it handled off road, so I took it on my two fifty. So I ran my two fifty on it. So that will be bottom where it's dirty is right there for 30 mil up. That would be right. that's where if you bottomed it 30 mil up is where that hard ring is. I felt the cork pretty hard. Yeah. Where, where, where does, what's the math doing right now? I'm not, I don't really understand. So, if you measure what you get when it's fully extended, it's 220. Millimeters. Yeah. So at that point, then you put yourself on the bike. What does that measure? And that gives us right a sag number. Yeah, sag. And then, because you bottomed it, I was kind of curious to see where that was. So if bottom out is 30 millimeters up, your total travel would appear to be, without reading the documentation, 190 mil. If you felt it clunk. That doesn't mean where I measured to was the spot that it clunks, but that's where that's been dirty and only hit hard a couple times from dust. So because you haven't washed and cleaned the fork, that's the potential, but we just gotta get on light and find out what the actual travel Don't number is. Yeah. So the website is B-I-K-E-Z. So as far as the dirt goes with this and going off-road, I'd probably leave preload and the shock the same and then watch how much shock travel is being used. Rebound would slow down four clicks. Catch the full video at DaveMossTuning.com. Dave Moss can tune your suspension no matter where you are on the planet via his remote tuning service. Contact Dave on Facebook or by email, dave at davemosstuning.com.